Hey YouTube and welcome to another video from Rich Co Photo. Today I'm going to take you on a little trip down towards Hamble. So I hope you enjoy the ride. Stay tuned. So we're currently running down Hamble Lane. Uh, now for those of you that don't know, um, but if you've watched some of my videos, I used to work for BP, uh, British Petroleum, and delivering fuel to garages. And I spent 10 years of my life driving up and down this road. This road is actually leads down towards the terminal. Uh, we'll go past that on our little trip. Uh, and I'll obviously tell you a little bit about it. Now, the, the movements um, come up and down here. When I was there, we probably had three or 400 movements a day of petrol tankers up and down this lane. Um, every time we increase business, you have to apply to be able to put more transport up and down this lane, more tankers up and down. And what you will find is you find the police cars are quite regular up and down this road as there's a police training college just down here on the right hand side that I'll point out in a minute. But like I said, I spent 10 years chomping up and down this road. I wonder if a petrol tanker will go by. I'd be surprised if we get down and we don't actually go past one. And talk of the devil, one will appear. Um, so that's what I used to do for a living. I used to drive one of them. It was an enjoyable job. Probably did about, I don't go across it because those lights are actually green, mate. <laughs> um, used to probably drive about 400 miles a day, probably something like that, between three and 400 a day, delivering fuel all over the south coast, up to London, down towards Torquay and Brighton and those sort of areas. I'm just going over Hamble Holt Bridge, that's where the Hamble Railway Station is. And on the left here, all this fencing, uh, used to be Hamble Airfield, long long time ago again when we were kids we'd come down here go in the field um, lay at the end of the runway and let the planes fly in over us there were quite a few occasions when we got chased out it wasn't like a military airport or you know a general public airport it was a training college i think for the RAF or something like that so we used to climb over the fence and lay at the end of the runway some of the hangars here the old hangars are on the left this is the railway track. Now BP still have to pay for this railway track even though it's not used. Um, back in 1996, seven, I think, um, they actually had to open the railway line because the Queen came down on the train, believe it or not. So they still have to pay maintenance for that even though they don't actually use it. So on the right hand side here we have a big aerospace um, development place. There's one of the red arrows there on the right hand side on the post. Again, that's been there. I could do with a clean, actually. Again, some local shops. And... Um, I used to live um, just down here on the left-hand side as well. I might even have sort a of little drive around there so I can show you some of the area and some how close we all live as as UK people, as you can see, a lot of these houses, these are all flats on the right hand side, some houses straight ahead of us and more flats. We live on top of each other in the UK. That's what I like about America. It's just so nice to have space between houses. Um, so, but we'll go up here, I'll just show you some of the area. If I can remember where I lived, it's been a long time since I lived down here. If I can remember, it would be okay. <laughs> so there's plenty of estates like this in the UK. Um, I can't even remember where I used to live. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, so let's go up here. No, this wasn't up here. <laughs> but as you can see, there's lots of houses. I don't know if it's Barton Road. Oh, I don't know. We'll just drive around here so you can see some of them anyway. Might have been up there. It's probably over 20 years since I lived here, at least. So here's the railway track again that we went over at Hamble Lane. We're just going over it again. And years and years ago, this used to deliver all the fuel, um, all the all barrels and oil and everything used to come in um, 
here and then oh, the ships used to come in and it was shipped out or trained out of Hamble Refinery and I'll whip down um, past if I can do that I'll go, if I go left here then I can go down towards the refinery well I won't let it get in there because it's all pretty well secure but let's go down here this this place on the right hand side here this white building used to be the local fire station you'll see it as i turn right in a second um there you go directly in front of you but now it's like a an estate agents and boat sales so directly ahead of us is the bp oil terminal down between those gates there there's some the big crude oil tanks are there. Now some of these houses down here are you know around probably four, five, six hundred thousand. And there are more expensive ones down on the seafront where I'm gonna go really shortly. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But he's left his blanket on his roof. But there you go. And there goes the blanket. <laughs> so she put her blankets on the roof and then drove off with them on. Let's just take you up here, then I'll go down through the village. Again, if you saw in my last video for Wars Ash when I was talking about Howard's Way and places like that. Again, this is, or a program, uh, this is where it was filmed. This is the other side of the river to the Wars Ash video that you saw the other day. This is always a bit of a dodgy exit because you can't really see around the corner until you get on top of it. I'm gonna beat the cyclist out and then take you down through the village. As you can see, you've got the river directly ahead of us again and I'll take you down this is the high street believe it or not <laughs> there goes a cyclist death with cyclists and then um, I'll let these people through and again it's a lot of little beauty shops and some very old buildings and old pubs when I was a kid, again, spent lots of time down here. Had some real fun down here as well, out on the boats and everything. It's always a really busy place, especially in the summer and stuff. There's the Bugle pub, the Queen's Head on the left. Very popular with the, the people from the yachting community, should we say. Not sure what Mr. Mercedes is going to do. He's just going to stop. See, and that's the trouble with people in the UK. A lot of them don't have any consideration for anybody else. Okay, these houses on the right that you see, those are complete houses. One of them just sold for eight hundred thousand. Uh, it's pretty nice view, I guess, but excessive amount of money for what's not necessarily a very big house, but because of its position worth quite a bit of money as you can see pedestrians don't give a monkeys either they're so used to just walking around here without really worrying about it some of the older houses again there you go i guess these used to be old fishing cottages again big massive fishing port years and years ago not so much these days in fact it's just pleasure craft and where the yachty community just come and sit on their yachts all day really not doing much. Simon Le Bon, you probably know who he is, they used to have a, he's got a yacht down here, I've seen him down here a few times, Nigel Mansell, Damien Hill, um, quite a few of the motor racing drivers I've seen down here, obviously all the Howard's Way cast, and lots of celebrities because of the environment that the yacht environment that's down here all the 
racing that goes on. There's lots of racing off the Isle of Wight. There's you know an excessive amount of boats down here, and yachts. All right, so this is when you have cars coming towards you, and you just have to push them in a different way so they get out of the way. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. So that's it, that's finally all the first place where we turned left there and we went down towards the BP terminal. And now we're gonna head back out of Hamble, back over the railway track again. And all these houses here on the right, just before I finish, this used to be the Hamble airfield at the beginning of it. So all of here used to be hangars um, and all the aircraft used to fly around and then back in over the top of the hangars and into the airport. I wonder if I can get onto the airfield at some point and film a bit of that. It's pretty, I don't think the, the runway's even there anymore. So there's a mixture of old and new as usual. And I'm just gonna show you this as we come up here because it might be interesting to some people. This is the aerospace factory. Um, again, you'll see the shops on the left and you'll see a red arrow on a post. So once you've seen that, I'm going to end the video and say thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and again if there's anywhere you want me to film on the south coast, uh, let me know. And if you've got any questions at all, let me know that as well. So you have a great day. I hope you're enjoying these videos. You take care of yourself. Give me the thumbs up. Hey, thanks very much for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, just click on my face there and you'll subscribe to my channel so you won't miss anything. Also, just click on one of these videos around me. You might find something you like. So thanks again. You have a great day. Take care of yourself.